Hey YouTube, Herbal Prepper here, and today I'm going to show you how to temporarily fix your tooth filling. Now, this can be useful for now. Say it's Friday night and you're out with friends and your filling falls out. You go home um, and you fix this up and you're good to go and you can go to the dentist Monday or for whatever reason that you wouldn't be able to get it to the dentist as soon as you possibly can, okay? This is also great for after the crap hits the fan. Um, they do sell kits that come with the same things that you see here, uh, which is the clove and the zinc oxide powder. And you just mix it up. The only difference is you're going to pay $7 for that. I have the ingredients here. I use my zinc oxide for uh, sunscreen and my lotions and things for my son when he's out in the sun. Uh, I do not use commercial stuff. That stuff gives you cancer. <laughs> so. Um, the clove oil is naturally antibiotic, antifungal, and anti antiseptic. Uh, so this is great for the mouth. You can use this in your homemade toothpaste, which I do. Uh, you can use this in mouthwash, which I do. This has been long noted for tooth pain, so some people actually put it on a cotton ball and stick it on the tooth and it will kind of numb the area and give you some relief. Uh, let's see, it's one, it smells great. I love the way it smells. So, um, this is not something that's going to taste really bad, but again, you're not going to have to use a lot of this. So, you're not going to like pour this whole thing in there because it's very potent. You're using essential oils, guys. So, please have respect for essential oils. Don't think just because they're from plants, they're not very strong. I'm telling you, they will knock you on your butt and send you to the hospital if you don't use them properly. Okay. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a glass container and the reason why you want to use glass because you don't want to have any type of chemical reactions. Um, I rarely ever will do anything in metal at all and I have a wooden skewer. Okay. And So what you're going to do is you're going to pour the powder in here. It really depends on the size of the tooth filling that you're going to be needing is to how much powder. You'll have to just kind of work with it guys. It, this is not something that you'll get right on the first try. You'll have to just, let me see, since I already have some in here, okay, I'm just going to pour. This is a fourth of a teaspoon right here, but I've not even got like a fourth of that. So this is a very, very tiny amount. And you want to make sure you don't breathe this in. It's a very, very fine powder guys, and you'll actually inhale that and that's not good for your lungs. Um, so then from here, you want to take your essential oil, and I gotta stick something in my mouth here, this spoon, skewer, and you wanna pour just a tiny amount, so like one drop, maybe two. If it will come out. There it goes. Okay, normally for a toothache, you would only use like one drop. But since you're having to actually wet this powder, you're going to have to use a little bit more. Um, and again, you'll have to kind of eyeball it, figure out the size that you're going to be needing to cover. Um, you know, that right there might be enough, or excuse me, that right there might be enough, or you might need something larger. You just have to look at your tooth and find out how big of a spot you need to cover. So what this is going to do is it's going to harden up a bit. Um, and it's already starting to do because I... I did this a little bit before the video. So you're going to sit here and get all of it wet. And as you get it wet, you'll start to build this a little larger here. And you want to do it as quickly as possible because, one, you don't want the powder floating everywhere. And two, this will start to, start to harden up. Okay, so for time's sakes, I'm going to pretend like this is as large as I need it to be. So you'll know when it's ready is when it's a little firm um, and you'll want to do this with gloves on too that way you can touch everything and move it around um, when it's a little firm and it's not squishy if it's sticky then you need to add more powder and it's not ready yet the reason why you want to do this is because you're going to insert this into your mouth you're going to stick it where it needs to be and you're going to bite down on it and kind of pack it down in there and if it's sticky it's not going to uh, cement up and harden Okay. So if this is something that um, is really sticky still, you want to wait. Let the air dry it out a little bit more, then stick it in. If this is the consistency that you want 
At this point, you would stick it in the tooth, and then you would bite down. And once you bite down, that's going to form to the shape of the tooth. And as it hardens, you want to make sure, of course, guys, keep the outside of the tooth that you're treating dry, no saliva, put cotton balls in your mouth, do what you need to do. Um, I'm just assuming that you guys already know that. But so from this point, um, after it starts to dry and it's not sticky, it'll dry up in your mouth and boom, there's your filling. It's very simple. Um, it's not very difficult at all. And from that point, guys, you can either go to the dentist or you can continue to make uh, temporary uh, fill-ins or actually go through the process of getting a permanent filling done. You can do it yourself as long as you know what you're doing. Um, you want to make sure you clean out the mouth really well, guys. No, don't pack food or trap food down in there. Um, so, and that's it, guys. That's very simple. Um, like I said, if, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So I hope this video is a blessing to you guys. Until next time.